Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Food Cat, and today we are playing Behind by CB Games, who is a 12 year old inspired by Amnesia to make this game. So, this isn't much of a blind playthrough for me because I've gotten to the point where I had to discover all of the four chemicals, and that part really got on my nerves. I've been playing this for 40 minutes to figure out how to find out all of the fucking chemicals, and the last one. It just really bothers me. Okay, I want to get one thing straight. We need his remains. I can't tell you why just yet, but I can tell you that it is not a walk in the park. Go to the basement, pick up the bones, and leave. Shouldn't be too hard, right? JR. Press space. So I only have half battery on my, on my camera. Hopefully it'll last long enough for me. So as you can all see so far, it's a Unity Asset Packet. Here are the chemicals that I need to destroy this little fucking thing from Amnesia. Since this game is, again, inspired by Amnesia. I also think it's inspired by Slender since you're collecting things. Yeah, that's the reason why too. Slenderina's in the game. She looks a lot puffier in this though gotten fat than the last time we played our game, which is about a year ago. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and get the four chemicals. So I just picked one up. There's another one up here for those who need a walkthrough of this. Because I certainly needed a walkthrough, but there were no walkthroughs of this game. Here's another one. This is the one I missed, which really pissed me off. I was looking everywhere. I thought it was like a brick floor or something, but that's not brick floor. It was so aggravating. Now we go into this room, which was originally locked. I guess we'll read the note before we go on. We just finished checking the building today before it was demolished. But unfortunately, the family that wanted this land could not retrieve it. The reason being was because of this basement. Just one in hell of this old toxic gases could make you hallucinate, maybe faint. When first found this out when we, me and our team came over, but as we explored the place, one of our workmen ventured into the basement, but we didn't, we didn't know where he was. We just heard a large banging sound and someone screaming the following, It's not her fault. It isn't. It isn't yours. You shot me down, bang, bang. Okay, that was... An old song reference. Then there was a silence and suddenly an anticlimactic light started to swing above the main hall. It hasn't stopped since. We went down to rescue him, but we found him dead with green, frothy fluid oozing from his eyes, nose, and mouth. This is caused by a, cause, by a toxic called arsenic penafluoride. Try saying that five times. We thought it'd be best to leave the home as it is, lock the basement and put up a gas sign just to be safe. The family were distraught when. Why does it say that? Distraught when. That's a weird way to end the sentence. He didn't leave. You leave. Perfectly written type font. Written in blood. Pick up that. I could get jump scared, but I don't feel like getting jump scared. I just want to complete the game. Instead, I just make it my thumbnail. Now we just wait for the Sad Satan AM radio to turn off, since the radio is on. Yeah. Sad Satan radio, as I said. Can I just move on, please? Can the Slendrina girls just die already? Okay, now I can move on. Oh, just thank God. I've been looking around forever for that last chemical. So now at this point it shouldn't be a blind playthrough. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, this is also hinting where all of those are. The chemicals. That's how I figured it out. It's really annoying. Some sticky residents but can't be torn with... Okay, I just... Just tore it. What is with the Sad Satan music going on? Is that supposed to be really scary? 
We don't need this music box bullshit. Oh, hi. Why are you crawling now? Can't you just walk on your two feet? What a moronic girl. What I do here? I, I collected all chemicals, of course. But what else? Am I supposed to do something down here? Oh yeah, I was supposed to collect bones, huh? Like they said. I just look for bones and then escape. I think I just reached a dead end. Alright, she's gone now. Yeah, this is a slendered inspired game too, I can see it. It's like fetch quest here. Which is what slender is always like. Alright, so the stairs are right there. What I need to do is try to not lose my direction. Over here? Is this... Wow, I found it. What? Who the fuck is that? Oh my god, no. I lost my spot. Yeah, you better go back, you pussy. What? No, no. No. God. God damn it. Ah, oh, I had to take that bad direction. So now I have to fucking do it all over again. Okay, so my camera just died. So now I'm using my Kodak to record my face cam. Hopefully... It'll look good. This is the first time I'm actually using my Kodak, so I'm thinking this is going to be a good experience. I want to see how it turns out on camera. Turns out on video, that's what I meant. On camera too, I guess. Okay, so I pick up the bone here, and I run. I can't run that way, though. J just no. Just no. No! How do you escape from this? Just... How? There is no possible way to escape from that. I guess what I do is just wait in the bedroom. That's my only other option. There's nothing else I can do in this. What else do I do, dude? I, I can't! I can't! I'm done. I'm done. There, there's no other option to escape from this. I, I know there's another pathway. But there's no point to that pathway. Do I just wait behind that table until he just runs out? And then Slendrine is going to come in and just walk in afterwards. And then kill me. See, there's no, there's no pathway to actually escaping. Simple, right? No, it's not fucking simple. Just the fucking ending of this is really annoying. I'm done. I've been playing this for too long now. It's been about a fucking hour. I've been playing this for an hour. An indie horror game that's supposed to be really short for an hour. I mean, the game's cool. Like, I like that it's inspired by amnesia. I like that you can pick up items. I like that they do this whole similarity where you have to burn acid on some sort of monster thing that looks like a bunch of veins. But... Why is that ending so fucking frustrating? I've died like fucking ten times already. Just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. There's, there's no other way to do it. There is no strategy here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Behind. Alpha demo. Will I play the full game? No. <laughs> no. And subscribe in the outro if you have not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Like and comment on this video. And I'll see you guys in another playthrough. Stay awesome, Kitty Sabers. Ah uh...